Hi, Mel. Julia here. I had the worst day. First, I had a fight with my mom. She has only one thing on her mind. Actually, two. Saving the whales and my studies. Then, on my way to school, I saw Laura giggling with Dylan. I got so nervous, I couldn't speak. Man, I wish I could start this day from the beginning again. I know what you mean. Maybe I can help you fix that. Sit tight and enter this address on the net. Timeloops.com Welcome, time traveler. You've just landed in the rockin' 60s. The local time here is 10 a.m., the year 1967. Location, San Francisco. It's the summer of love. 1967? How did that happen? Uh-oh. I meant to send you back to this morning, not to 1967. What am I doing here? Oops, something in history has changed. Your parents were supposed to meet tonight, but it's not gonna happen. Translation, you're not going to happen. You have to make them meet. This must be my punishment for watching Back to the Future too many times. So what should I do now? Pray, I guess. Just kidding. You need to talk to people and investigate. Get some clues and information. Thanks for landing me here. Remember, you can choose to find either your father first or your mother. But each path you decide to take will lead you to a different story. Jimmy McKenzie, your father, is a famous reporter working for the Guardian newspaper. Hey, beautiful mortal woman. Love and peace to you. <laughs> Here, have a paper. Okay, so the film is gone and your meeting might be cancelled. Just a minute. I need to leave Jimmy a note saying that his meeting might be cancelled. Hi! Does Jimmy McKenzie work here? Why do you ask? Do you have a story for him? Maybe I can help you. Where can I find him? You think I'm his secretary? Now if I was a man, I'd bet you a million dollars you'd assume I was a reporter. Would you happen to know if he has an important meeting today? Word gets around fast in this town, huh? He's got a meeting with some girl who's supposed to give him evidence of an ecological disaster at Phillips Chemicals. Who called to cancel the meeting just now? Wow, you've got ears like an elephant. That was the anonymous girl who wrote the note. She said that the film has disappeared. It's no wonder. There are many people who'd want to prevent Jimmy from getting a good lead on a potential scandal. Who, for instance? For instance, Rick from the music store. Jimmy wrote a not-so-positive review about his music, if you get what I'm saying. And let's not even begin to talk about all his ex-girlfriends who hold grudges against him. Is Jimmy going to be disappointed? What do you think? He's been waiting for a scoop like this for years. 
If only I had laid my hands on that story before him. Do you happen to know if Jimmy McKenzie and Alice Kaplan are dating? Alice? Who's Alice? Oh, you mean Sheila. Who's Sheila? Sheila Phillips is devastated ex. It's been a week and she's still not over him. I meant Alice? Miss Equal Rights, Peace and Love, Alice? Well, aren't we all? But anyway, no, I don't know your Alice. Bye. Peace. Your clothes are a bit old-fashioned, but I dig your hair clips. Are you seeing Jimmy McKenzie? Jimmy McKenzie? Why do you think I even know him? Maybe you can show them something you collected that will make them talk. that. It's all lies. Just like the lies they're spreading about my father's factory. What are they saying about your father's factory? That he's pouring poison into the sea. It's all lies. And they don't have a film to prove it. Who's spreading these lies about your father's factory? It's Jimmy. He's so hurt that I left him. But he's trying to get back at me by hurting my father. How would you feel if your ex-boyfriend started dating another girl? How dare you ask me, Sheila Phillips, that question. Uh-oh. I think you made someone here really mad. Why don't you look in your bag for something that'll pacify them so that we can continue our journey? So what? So what? Diamonds are a girl's best friend. It must have cost you a fortune. Are you the daughter of the owner of Phillips Chemicals? Yes, and I'm proud of it. I don't have any problem with being rich. Anyway, my father gives his money away to good causes. Do you think other people may have a problem with you being rich? I'm sure of it. Otherwise, why would they come in the middle of the night and take photos of things that don't even exist? What good cause does your daddy donate his money to? Well, we sponsor young scientists like Larry Chang, for example. He can tell you that we've never used DDT. 
Bye. Bye. without my film. Hey, you look familiar. Have we met? Oh, never mind. Maybe you can help me find my film? What film are you talking about? The film that shows the ecological catastrophe that's happening in our city. What ecological catastrophe? A factory in our city pours DDT into the water and poisons tons of fish. All that capitalist cares about is making money. Why did you take photos of it? I care about our planet. So I try to do my best. I believe in animal rights, too. I don't even use products that are tested on animals. Are you the one who canceled the meeting with Jimmy McKenzie tonight? What do you know about that meeting? was supposed to know it was me. There are many people who would like to prevent us from meeting. Who would want to prevent you two from meeting? Well, for starters, the people at Philips Chemicals. If the stuff I have against them gets published, their factory could get closed down. Could it be that the person trying to prevent your meeting is the one who stole the film? That would be logical. Without the film, there would be no reason for me to meet with Jimmy. Maybe you forgot the film somewhere. Hey, I'm so freaked out because of this, I can't seem to remember anything. Maybe you should try yoga. Those breathing exercises may help you relax. Yeah, you're right. I was at the lab this morning, then I wanted to go to the photo store, but that's when I found out that the film had disappeared. Concentrate! It's important for the future uh, of your relationship with Jimmy. There are bigger issues here than my relationship with Jimmy. I thought you understood that. on animals. Where did you get this? I'll help you find the film. That would be great. I can feel you have a positive aura about you. Did anyone tell you you look a little bit like Alice? Why is Alice so bugged about this film? Uh, it's so obvious. She's dying to meet Jimmy, but she'll never admit it. Why do you think that? She just separated from her boyfriend, Rick, from the record store, and I know that means only one thing. She's already got someone else on her mind. 
does Alice say her reasons are for wanting to meet Jimmy? All Alice talks about is the environment. But believe me, in her mind, she thinks like all women think. She wants to find a good husband. Do you have any idea where the film could be? Uh, if you ask me, her colleague from the lab took it. He's so envious of her. While he's studying and working all day, she picks all the scholarships. Bye. Bye. Do you know anything about the photos that were taken at Philips Chemicals? Why do you think I should know anything about these photos? Do you know anything about the photos that were taken at Philips Chemicals? Why do you think I should know anything about these photos? Would you say there's competition going on between you and Alice? Competition? Between me and Alice? Ah, is there any reason why I should envy her? about that. I'm sitting here with a big grant from Philips Chemicals. Did you find a roll of film here? Alice lost her film? <laughs> that girl shouldn't be allowed to take pictures anymore. I mean, she shouldn't take pictures that get her into trouble. Bye. Bye.
Hey, beautiful mortal woman, love and peace to you. <laughs> Here, have a paper. Do you know Jimmy McKenzie, the reporter? Jimmy, the man himself? Of course, man, who doesn't? Like a true idealist, a true rebel. Do you know Alice Kaplan? Alice, the brunette? Yeah, she's a typical Libra. She fights for justice and equality. Very positive vibes, man. Thanks. Glad to help. You're like a walking rainbow, man. I'll be there in a second. Oh, it's not the end of the world. You'll find someone who's better for you. Alice is looking for you everywhere. Hey, you just keep falling out of the sky wherever I am. Maybe in a past life we were like united in one soul. Do you know anything about the girl from the photo store? Not much. I know she doesn't dig political involvement. She never lets me hang any of my posters on her door. Do you know Dorothy, Alice's friend? A friend of mine dated her once. Everything was cool, man, until she started all this stuff about marriage and a house with a white picket fence. Do you know Larry Chang from the lab? Him I don't know, like, because he never comes out of the lab. See you soon. Definitely. Hey, am I glad to see you. Do you have any clue who might have taken the film? SP. Maybe it's the same person who left that suspicious note on my desk in the lab. What note? The forged note. I guess I'm really onto something big. If my mother finds out, she'll lock me in my room and throw away the key. Why would your mother lock you up? Give me a break. You know how parents are. It's a different generation. I'll never be like them. Why would anyone forge a note? I have no idea, but someone is going to a lot of trouble to prevent me from meeting Jimmy. What's so suspicious about this note? It was addressed to me, but the note I sent Jimmy was anonymous. I never told him my name. Who could have sent you that note? Who knows? Although there are some mistakes in it that look very familiar. Who knew about the anonymous letter you sent to Jimmy? Nobody that I'd suspect. Just Dorothy and Larry. No, you don't think... Larry? It can't be. Bye. Bye. I wish there was a public phone here. I really have to tell Susan about the forged note. Who could have forged a note just to prevent this meeting? I don't have a clue. I thought Alice didn't tell anyone but me about this meeting. Are you sure you didn't tell anyone? Me? No. Well, just Susan. But Susan is a friend. She would never... Although, 
<laughs> but to go to all that trouble just to meet Jimmy? Nah. Were you the one who visited the lab today? Oh, this is too much. You suspect me? I'm Alice's best friend. Oh, what a cute phone! But where's the cord? You think Alice is afraid of what's happening? Alice? No way! For her, it's a dream come true. She always wanted to be Robert Kennedy at the least. Bye! See ya! Alice dates would want to go out with me. Do you know anything about Alice's meeting being cancelled? Cancelled? Are you sure? Oops. I'm not supposed to know anything about this meeting, am I? What song was that playing on the radio? Susan takes you down to the place. Suzanne by Leonard Cohen. You have a great voice. Did you ever think of joining a band? A band? I'm not really the type. I tend to ruin things. If I got up on the stage, it would probably cave in. But just this week, I broke three cameras here. <laughs> really just for one time only? So I really can't destroy it! Bye! Nobody should see this. There's just no way she can find out what was written in the note. Wow! She was able to reproduce the note from the pad. Yes? You again? Don't you have any respect for scientific discoveries? Listen, Larry, did you have any other visitors this morning besides me? Before you begin your cross-examination, let me save us both some time. 
there was someone here this morning. Who was here today? The same person who has the soprano voice. But I didn't get a chance to see her because my glasses were fogged up from the fumes in the lab. What was this person doing here? I have no idea. But whoever it was left their glasses behind. By the way, these are the exact same glasses as that nosy reporter wears. I'd like to see a sample of your handwriting. I don't have time for your accusations! I devote my time to working on discoveries and innovations! If you want me to do a graphology test, you'll have to get a court order! of the 1990s by Robert Palmer. Oh, there's a Robert Palmer in my physics class. I didn't know he wrote science fiction. I have a feeling that you're real good at spelling. Could you spell gorgeous for me? Of course I can. My memory is phenomenal. Yes, yes. I'm busy. I have an article to write. Did you forget something in the lab? Why do you ask? Is this a joke? Can't you see I'm wearing my glasses? How did you get the scoop on this article? What do you mean, how did I get it? I worked hard for that. As a woman, I have to work even harder. They never give me any leads. Martin Luther King will be assassinated? Hey, where did you get this information? Are you from the FBI? What are you working on? An article about this rally we're organizing. Women for the ERA. It's going to be wild. We're going to change the world. You should come too. Can you write down the address where it's going to be? Sure. Can you give me directions? It's two blocks from here, on your right. Bye. Peace. Hey.
Hey stranger, you're a traveler just like me. Let's play a little game of trivia. I'll tell you something about the 60s and you'll tell me if it's true or false. The hippie movement was against materialism and believed in a communal lifestyle. You're right. The Berlin Wall was built in 1961. You're wrong. The Civil Rights Corrects Amendment was passed in the USA in 1965. You're right. The model, Kate Moss, was the role model for the waif look in the 60s. You're right. It was Twiggy. Kate Moss wasn't even born in the 60s. A photograph is a personal matter. When left to be developed, it should be reclaimed. Come back again, Julia. I can't talk now, man. I lost my music for tonight's concert. You're just in time. Jane is about to arrive. Fonda, I mean. Did you lose a pair of glasses? Glasses? Why do you think I lost a pair of glasses? What? You think I wrote that because my initials are SP. Next thing, you'll be accusing Sergeant Pepper. Um, it must belong to the guy who forgot his music here. What song are these music notes from? I can't read music, but I'm sure Rick from the record store will know what piece this is. Who's Sergeant Pepper? Were you born yesterday or something? Sergeant Pepper is the name of the new Beatles album. I found a note written by Jimmy McKenzie saying he'll always be loyal to you. No, you're lying. Let me see, quickly. That's not Jimmy's handwriting. But make no mistake, I wouldn't want to go back to him even if he begged for his life. Why wouldn't you go back to Jimmy? Let's get something straight. I left him, not the other way around. Also, I believe that what's done is done. I'm not like Rick, who recycles his love life. Do you by any chance know this handwriting? No, I've never seen it before. You have a great voice. Did you ever think of joining a band? Well, I've heard people say that I've got a voice just like Janis Joplin. But my voice has a higher pitch than hers. 
Take another piece of my heart, baby. Go on, sing to me. You're too much, you know that. Does this look like my shower to you? Next winter's collection. But it's so old fashioned. Strange. Bye! Don't you want to wait for Jane? Oh well. I can't talk now, man. I lost my music for tonight's concert. What is this? I can't read it. I don't have my glasses. Oh, man. What a day. What a day. Let's see. Yes! This is my music. <laughs> Great! Can I have your autograph? Like it'll be my honor? Here, that's my stage name. <laughs> Do you have a problem with spelling? Of course not. I won first place in a spelling bee when I was in first grade. What's this song about? It's about longing for a loved one who will never be mine again. <laughs> me? You think it's me? What do you have against me? Are you sure you want to do that? Accusing someone is a very serious matter, and you need proof for that. Yes, I'm SP, so what? All right, all right, I admit it. I did it. I couldn't bear the thought of my darling Alice meeting the infamous Jimmy McKenzie. I just know they'll fall in love. Oh, I am such a jealous guy. <sighs> but don't worry, I'm going to give the film to Jimmy myself. You can make your parents meet. Hurry, I need you back here with me. U.S. out of Vietnam. U.S. out of Vietnam. Thanks for bringing me the film. I'll 
Though I must say, I was really looking forward to meeting the girl who took the pictures. Oh, you don't want to meet her. It's, uh, my ugly old aunt. But I'd still really like to know what the photographer looks like. Look for something to show that Alice is the photographer. Wow, your aunt is gorgeous. I always believed in love at first sight or first picture or whatever. I'm sorry, Alice, but I only did it because I love you so much. I guess that if I can't make you be mine, then I've got to let you go. Yes, Rick. Real love is not about owning someone. It's about giving that person freedom. You're so liberal. I love that in a woman. Where's Julia? I want to thank her. I hope I'll get a chance to meet her again. I really like her. Wow! What's happening? Um, Julia? I, uh, I have some good news and some bad news. The bad news is, I guess you're not going home after all. But the good news is... You're going to Paris, to the Roaring Twenties. You've got another mystery to solve. Bye. Alice and Jimmy will fall in love. That's fate, that's fate, that's fate. But Julia's needed to set the date. That's fate, that's fate. Love and harmony is what it's all about Alice and Jimmy will marry, have no doubt, no doubt No doubt, no doubt Julia's managed to make her parents meet While having fun in the 60s and grooving to the beat To the beat, to the beat That's fate, that's fate Grooving to the beat, that's fair, that's fair.